my channel and today we are at Immigration Canada for my citizenship ceremony. Uh, so let's go inside and right now I am wearing my traditional costume. With me is my sister, my husband, Tracy, and my parents-in-law. So the ceremony is at 4.30 and we're now waiting for uh, the Immigration Canada to call us to check our papers. So I have all the papers in here with me. My name is Kendall Lynn Swarthen and today I am honored to be acting as clerk of the ceremony. The candidates for today's ceremony have indicated a range of language preference. And as such, the ceremony will be conducted predominantly in English. They have complied with the requirements of the Citizenship Act and are now ready to the oath of citizenship of Canadian citizens. It is my pleasure to present them to you for the public administration of the oath of Canadian citizenship. Thank you, Cliff Warden. Good afternoon. What a beautiful, beautiful day. And it is a momentous day when a person assumes the citizenship of a country. And it is my honor to preside over this momentous day for me. Je suis ravi d'être ici avec vous aujourd'hui pour cette grande célébration de votre citoyenneté canadienne. Nous sommes assemblés sur le territoire de nos ancêtres indigènes, les membres des Premières Nations Mosquem, Squamish, and East Welchia. Okay. I would like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather today is the traditional ancestral and unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. Canada's indigenous people give us a rich history of culture and appreciation of the land and the earth. Indeed, as we recognize and appreciate the beauty of this land that we know as Canada, here in this magnificent province of British Columbia, uh, when the sun is shining, we look at every ray of sunshine. You take the oath of citizenship. You take an oath to obey the laws of this country and to fulfill your duties to our nation and to each other. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, a bill of rights entrenched in the Constitution of Canada, Enacted in 1960, asserts fundamental freedoms. These are the freedoms of conscience, religion, thought, belief, expression, and association. It guarantees our democracy the right to choice of political and religious views and activities and to have a voice in matters that my own family, survivors of war and oppression in Europe, escaped their enemies in darkness to come to Canada. They began their new lives with only a few coins sewn into the stuffed bear that my brother hugged for comfort as they ran to survive. They started new lives here in this country where freedom and respect and multiculturalism and opportunity were the themes of their dreams and the fuel to their success. They shared every new day in Canada and their new city of Montreal with a community around them in which they felt comfort and familiar traditions, food, songs, and shared narratives of their They also believed heavily in the importance of education and imparted those values onto my husband, our two beautiful children, and me. I was privileged to experience some of the best education in this country that this country has to offer through my elementary schooling, high school, and graduate training. Many of you have traveled from afar, and some of you have struggled to make a new home in Canada. Your decision meant adapting to a new culture, climate, and for many of you, a new language. So 
take a moment now to think for yourselves what Canadian citizenship means to you. How it will propel you forward with your own dreams and goals and how you will give back. Just take a moment. Today, as new Canadian citizens, you gain the right to vote. With that, you have the exciting opportunity to participate in the federal election in October 2019 if you are at least 18 years old and over on election day. To learn more about how you can register and vote, refer to the Elections Canada Guide that has been provided to you. It is also available at elections.ca in over 30 languages. And every vote is important. So remember, vote. Canadians are kind-hearted people with wit and values. We embrace your values as we welcome you to join the Canadian family. You're about to take the oath of citizenship. As you pronounce the words of the oath, take them to heart. They are your commitment to do your best for Canada. You did it. I invite those of you who are already Canadian citizens to join us and to reaffirm your citizenship by raising your right hand and saying the oath with us. We are citizens of a bilingual country. I will say the oath first in English and then in French, and I will ask that you repeat it in both languages with equal coordinate. Would you please prepare the candidates for the oath of citizenship? Thank you, Dr. Ellis. We will now proceed with the oath of Canadian citizenship. Would everyone please stand? I would like to remind you that you may take the oath with or without a holy book. If you are using the holy book, please place the holy book in your left hand so that you may raise your right hand. You will be repeating the oath of citizenship after Dr. Ellis, and you may use the phrase I swear or I affirm. Dr. Ellis, we will now proceed with the taking of the oath of citizenship. Please raise your right hand. And repeat after me. I swear, I swear that, I will be that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, to Her Majesty Queen, Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, her heirs and successors. And that I will faithfully observe, will faithfully observe the, laws of Canada, the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties, and fulfill my duties as, a Canadian citizen. as a Canadian citizen. And now in French. Je jure, je je jure, jure que, je que je serai fidèle, serai fidèle et porterai Sincère, sincère allégeance, allégeance à sa majesté, à sa majesté la reine, la reine Elisabeth, II, Elisabeth II, reine du Canada, reine du Canada et ses héritiers, et ses héritiers et successeurs, et successeurs que Je observerai. Je observerai. Fidèlement. Fidèlement. Les droits. Les droits. Canada. Du Canada. Et que je. Et que je. Remplirai. Remplirai. Loyalement. Loyalement. Mes obligations. Mes obligations. De citoyen. De citoyen. Canadien. Canadien. Congratulations. You are now Canadian citizens. Would everybody please be seated? We will now proceed with the presentation.
new Canadians from 23 different countries of nationality. Congratulations again. So, today you chart a new Canadian future. Congratulations. And please begin your journey today as new Canadians by congratulating those around you. Those sitting beside you, to your right, and to your left, and back, and in front of you. Take a moment to congratulate Luck and best wishes to all. The Institute for Canadian Citizenship wants to help you celebrate your first year citizenship with Canoe a mobile app that provides new Canadian citizens with free admission to more than 1,400 museums, science centers, art galleries, and parks all across the country. All you have to do is download the free canoe app. The information that you need to register is on the leaflet that was given to you at check-in. Your membership is valid for 12 months from today, so go online and register. And on behalf of the Vancouver and Surrey Citizenship Offices, we would like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you on this very special day. We wish you all health, happiness, and success as the newest members of our Canadian family. We will now proceed with the singing of the national anthem. You may sing the anthem in English or French.